Nigeria welcomes a museum like no other. The John Randall Center is unapologetically Yoruba. The center aims to provide a profound exploration of Yoruba culture, history, and philosophy. Visitors encounter different Yoruba deities, masquerades, fabrics, rare attires, paintings, iconic photographs, artifacts, iconic Yoruba musicians, cultural figures, and so many more. Stay tuned as we explore this modern world-class African museum. Guys, please like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. If you go to a Western museum, the African section is often in the basement. It's dark. But this museum pops with color and sound to highlight the vibrancy and the dynamism of the Yoruba culture. The external walls of the Yoruba Center which has 1,000 square meters of exhibition space, are concrete and finished in earth-colored pigments, remnants of the mud features in the old Yoruba settlements. The gold lattice is a reference to the craftsmanship of Yoruba people. At the entrance, we are met by the car which Pelumi Nubi used to travel all the way from London to Lagos by road, which she donated to the museum. Tickets cost 3,000 Naira and can easily be purchased at the entrance with cash or bank transfer. Once inside, visitors are greeted by an audio-visual display that animates Yoruba myths of the origin of the world. Using the form of a calabash, a gourd that has significance in Yoruba culture and beliefs. I think it's displaying the story. It's so cool. It's on the walls. See the different origins. They explain the origin of the Yoruba people. The story of creation. Obatala. What did Obatala do? <laughs> We're sleeping. It's so funny. Obatala was sleeping. We did what came. Do I came to Obatala? What's the dude do I do? What's this thing? Do I is hanging on these clouds? Animation is so funny. He threw something down to the earth. So do I stole something from Obatala? Ooh, explosion. That's a damn big explosion. Then the world was created from this question. Now the world is born. And this is it. Now the world is born. We do the work came down to it or the world. It is cock stuff. Shoot it three times. Ooh. Villages hot. So do the work brought civilization. Nice. Story of creation. This all is so cool. A separate room exhibits various deities and manifestations of saints, including Shongo, the god of thunder, and Osho, the goddess of femininity and fertility. It's so cool.
so now empty There is a specific space for storytelling to reflect the Yoruba oral tradition. We had all, uh, usually uh, mothers, grandmothers, and great grandmothers who are very good storytellers. Talks are underway to receive 12 items on long term loans from the British Museum, including the Landa Stool, one of the first Yoruba pieces that came from Nigeria by the British. Masquerades take center stage in another dedicated section, introducing visitors to notable Eyo masquerades like Adimu, Eyo Alakitopupu, and Eyo Olegbede. Guys, please, I'm Igbo. Sorry if I pronounce these names wrongly. Floor to ceiling screens display videos of vibrant masquerade festivals across Yoruba land. A prominent image of the Oba of Lagos sets the stage. Items from the royal house can be seen around. Its textile section showcases traditional weaving looms, fabrics, and royal attire. The media section is dedicated to iconic Yoruba musicians and cultural figures, including the legendary Fela Anikola Kuti, a pioneer of Afrobeat music and a social justice champion. The museum boosts a comprehensive collection that spans the breadth of Yoruba history and culture. While another section devolves into the colonial era through historical objects and virtual reality experiences. This literate. The key thing about the center is a refusal to talk about the idea of traditional African art. When you talk about traditional African art, it is a very Eurocentric view of African art. Rather, what we are doing is looking at the traditions of Yoruba culture. See their bow and arrow. That's so cool. And this is their clothes, I guess. And their headgear. This hoop and cutlass for family. This broom. What's that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the broom. Is that spare? This is a spare. For digging. For harvesting cassava. What's this? This is a charm. The mystery of the marketplace. Cowries. Oh. Oh, wow. Coins. Wow. It's old coins. That's so cool. And we have kept. <laughs> Remembers using these types of stuff. With your kerosene. It's lantern. Pick milk. Are you serious? Seaman. This museum is an experience everyone needs to have. 
So I hope you find time to visit with your friends and family. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.